TSBC 2010 is a comprehensive three-day conference featuring two internationally re renowned keynote speakers, 13 panels, and three workshops covering five major themes. There are over 60 featured speakers from across Canada and internationally, and participation of over 400 leading Canadian and international experts from academia, government, policy, industry, nonprofit sectors, and the media, with interests at the intersection of science and policy. La CPSC de 2010 est une conférence de trois jours durant laquelle nous présenterons deux conférenciers principaux de renommée internationale, 13 sessions et trois ateliers, quatre aborderont cinq thèmes principaux. Nous avons invité plus de 60 conférenciers provenant de partout. On va accueillir plus de 400 experts de premier rang, canadiens et étrangers, de milieux universitaires, gouvernemental, politique, industriel, non lucratif ainsi que les médias qui manifeste un intérêt pour le carrefour où se croisent les sciences et la politique. Avec tant de travail et l'effort, nous tenons aujourd'hui de notre deuxième conférence. Jusqu'ici, nous avions été capables de euh, soutenir un forum inclusif, national, multisecteur et multidisciplinaire de la politique scientifique parce que nous croyons profondément que le Canada a besoin de ce forum. We believe that the complexity, multidisciplinary, and ever-changing nature of science and technology of the 21st century requires efficient, energetic, and agile institutions in order to ensure interconnection among various elements of innovation system, including the society at large. My sense of the success of this event, as well as of the event last year, uh, it was reflected in the fact that there's an appetite now for us to have discussions about how do we embrace the 21st century in terms of a, a new model of innovation, a new model of science policy. Well, I think we've, you've got some good initiatives coming out now with the, uh, with the Canadian uh, Science Policy Centre initiative that this conference has been all about, and I think that's a sign of, a, I guess, a bit of a revitalization that's taking place in science policy. Uh, indeed, it is a, a short amount of time, but great momentum has been built within the scientific community and the building of policy across this country as a result. I am always encouraged, and uh, frankly, today with so many participants, it's actually quite inspiring to look around the room and see the possibilities so many science policy experts and advocates uh, from across Canada. The conference itself is obviously making a significant contribution to science policy discussion, bringing uh, Canadians together, Canadian scientists and innovators together, and stakeholders from across the country. The spirit of collaboration is clearly woven uh, well into the fabric of Canadian science policy. This conference today is uh, about bringing together researchers and scientists, industry leaders uh, and government and so therefore ladies and gentlemen I do wish you the greatest of success in your endeavors. C'est très difficile de jongler à notre niveau. En plus d'avoir à jongler, effectivement les municipalités parfois arrivent avec des des initiatives tout autres. Alors on se retrouve effectivement dans un milieu assez mobile à travers lequel on doit demeurer stratégique. C'est c'est ça le nœud de l'affaire. <laughs> Alors, c'est pas simple. It's an honor and it's a pleasure uh, for me to join you this evening to discuss two things that I enjoy discussing a great deal, science and politics, and of course, uh, scientific policy, something that uh, I think is extremely important for our country. And uh, it, uh, I would like to thank Dr. Mirdad Hariri, whom I've had the pleasure of knowing now for about uh, a little, couple of years, really, uh, and his team for organizing this wonderful evening and uh, also for making Canadians aware through the conduct of these conferences uh, just how important scientific policy is. So thank you very much, Mirdad. You know, networking is, I think, fundamental both to science and to diplomacy. And you can get a certain amount done in the cyber world and online, but frankly, there is nothing like FaceTime uh, when it comes to cementing these kind of interpersonal relationships that tend to endure. So I think that the Science Policy Conference, by providing uh, a medium 
for that kind of interaction and exchange is playing a, uh, a fantastically supportive role. The new role of science in international relations, what is increasingly called science diplomacy, is using scientific interactions among nations to address the common problems facing humanity and to build constructive, knowledge-based international partnerships. Sounds great, difficult to do. When I say innovation, I want to stress I am taking the broad view of innovation, not the narrow view. I'm not thinking of innovation just as research and of inventions and of patents. I'm thinking rather of innovation as putting good ideas to work, to create value, to make things better, uh, to meet new needs, to meet old needs, old needs better, uh, to do things smarter and faster, doing things just simply better in every possible way. I view innovation as as relevant to the public sector as it is to the private sector. It's as relevant to services as it is to products. It's relevant to every sector. And I think now the way to move forward is to embrace the new model. How do we do that in terms of our policies, practices, institutions, and so on? That's the conversation that this event, I think, is really uh, fostering. And that's why I think people came here last year. And I think that's why they're back this year again. This conference represents, as a matter of fact, a, a unique opportunity for all of us to share ideas and discuss the scientific policy issues in Canada that Canada is facing, uh, as well to reinforce uh, the ties between stakeholders and the decision makers. You know, what's great about this conference is it's a bottom-up, grassroots effort on the part of young people, uh, which we don't see that much of, actually, in uh, science and science policy. And so I'd just like to start by inviting you uh, to give Murdad and his colleagues a hand. We need places where we can have discussions about how to best optimize our science and innovation system in Canada. It's not just a federal system, it is a f system, like you said, brings together academia, private sector, NGOs, uh, and various levels of government. So we need a place for these discussions. I'm rather hoping um, that as we get about the job of reconstructing Canada's international image and reputation and brand from the ground up, um, that we might be able to insert the importance of science and technology and science diplomacy into that new uh, construct. I have to say I'm, um, I'm blown away by the, the level of participation, particularly from the bureaucracy, from the civil servants at, at, at federal and at, and at state level here. I think it's amazing that you've managed to get two ministers to speak here uh, and to get the level of deputy minister and, and ADM to come and sit on panels and participate in the discussions and to actually commit to staying here for you know, longer, than, longer than today. I think you know, all credit to the organizers. I'm kind of encouraged by what I'm seeing in the last uh, several years with the Toronto meeting, now Montreal, next year Ottawa. So there's a lot of issues that are being discussed, but there's also a lot of initiatives that are spilling out of these conferences. For example, in the, in the clean energy space, that the, that the relative investment of small companies, in, actually the, the absolute investment of, that small companies make in total is equivalent to the investment that big companies make in R&D. So that changes a little bit how we think about innovation in, in this country. It is so uh, refreshing to see uh, during this conference how uh, the grassroots uh, are very well engaged, very well uh, aspiring to a better model, to a better way of doing things, a more effective way. Uh, so I would say continue with your message. Uh, we, uh, we like what you're doing, we support what you're doing, and, and I think it's very important that... To everybody that was clapping, who has money that they can use to sponsor the uh, meeting next year, uh, please do so, because these guys are really a grassroots uh, thatch hut effort. And uh, when we see entrepreneurial uh, folks, obviously interesting 400 people, uh, I think that they need some uh, support. They're kind of struggling, and uh, I'd just like to invite as many organizations here uh, where five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five thousand, fifty thousand 25,000, 50,000 dollars would not make a huge difference uh, to your budget. And uh, when you spot an entrepreneurial group that's actually doing something worthwhile uh, for our country in your area of interest, I'd just like to suggest that uh, you might want to consider, uh, might want to consider supporting them. Les avantages pour les Canadiens pour poursuivre dans cette vie sont nombreux, exploités 
Les agendas de sciences et d'innovation supportent le développement continu euh, d'une économie basée sur le savoir qui amènera de toutes les générations de richesses. En plus, améliorera nos, sens, euh, nos, nos standards de vie, le soin de santé, l'éducation, mais aussi favorisera notre capacité de contribuer globalement aux nations qui ont été laissées pour compte. Cette conférence, euh, cette conférence annuelle vise à soutenir la création d'un réseau robuste de politiques scientifiques au Canada.